Hey, hey, what's up, guys? KC here. Listen, it's time I talk about this guy, formerly known as Crims. Harry should have met Sally, but instead he met Megan. Now, Megan, at that stage, had a reputation for being, well, the village bicycle. To give my drift. In fact, rumor has it that in Hollywood, she was often called the common denominator. Well, because everything went into her. Anyways, here's the wishes of Her Majesty the Queen, Harry, married Meghan. And less than two years later, Harry, who is sixth in line to the throne, is leaving the posy. Yeah, he's fine. Giving up his royal status, his money, apparently he wants to be financially independent. Financially independent? For well, fuck's sake. He hasn't worked a fucking day in his fucking life. And dear Harry, you can't be financially independent if you're taking proceeds from the royal family, all your earnings, to fly to Canada, buy a posy, set up a business, etc. With money you've already made from the royal family. That's like one of Donald Trump's kids saying, Dad, I want to be financially independent. Just give me one of your hotels or one of your businesses and I'll take it from there. Fuck off. What's happening right now with Harry is a sad, tragic, but very real tale of the power of the Punani. That's right, my friends. The power of the Punani. But he's not alone. Millions of innocent men around the world, including myself, have been duped by the power of the Punani. I think even God, in his infinite wisdom, didn't foresee that such a small canal could cause so much of joy and happiness and yet cause so much of destruction and havoc. And that canal, that pound of flesh, has just fucked the royal family. Ah, the Panani, the Panani. Isn't it amazing that the relationship men have with the Panani? At birth, they push and struggle and push and struggle, They're desperately trying to get out of the Panani. And once we get out of the Punani, we spend the rest of our lives desperately trying to fucking get back in. Dun, dun.